So just as a quick disclaimer here, I was coming out of a couple of matches where I basically died right at the start. Just being super unlucky and like rounding the first couple of corners and running into one of the killers. Um, in this case, Leatherface. I was trying to go with a bit of a slower approach. So let's see how well this went for me here. The whole uh, diet sodas, I guess. Or what do you mean exactly? Where am I? Uh, this is a G full hydration. Yeah, I mean, there's the flavor selection. Ah, oh, there is no thing. The flavor selection with the hydration. They're like slowly but steadily like uh, increasing that. Like we just had. Ah, uh, oh, for fuck's sake! There's like a Mega Man flavor, and they've just like turned it into a hydration flavor, which is hella nice. Yeah, of course. Did he? Am I fucking lucky? I don't like him being so close to me, like, right from the get-go. Let's just chill out a couple of seconds, homies. Yeah, he's, he's close. He is very close. It's like Hunt. You need to bide your time. So right now I'm thinking, great, I am basically uh, in a pickle here and uh, it's not impossible to escape Leatherface, but um, I, I really thought like coming out of these previous matches, I really thought he was gonna like double hit me and I was gonna be a goner. Okay, I need to like fully escape from this guy, fully and totally escape. Help. I don't want to have a bone scrap. Can this guy not freak off, please? This guy's trying to open shit. Yes, give me that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be fast. Be quick. Be quick or be dead. <laughs> the timing absolutely impeccable. out of here, Anna. Come on, I'm your only chance. Be gone. I'm out of here. See ya. Seeing how Leatherface was still around, I really did want to get out of this whole area, basically. And considering there were a couple of other survivors, I actually took a chance here and thought to myself, you know what? Maybe I can unlock this door and, uh, to my surprise, <laughs> Leatherface did not see me here, and I was lucky enough to be able to unlock this. We're still not escaping the basement. We need health, and we need more unlock tools. The reason I do not just rush out of the basement is, again, from previous experience, whenever I did unlock a door and just rush out, I was basically met with a killer right away and just my life was done for. So this time I thought I might just open the door and, you know, replenish my health and just see if I can return to that door with full health and a full stack of unlock tools. Yep. That's an execution, all right. Lee, yes, a big one. That's good. Lucky. I need a new unlock tool. Just think. Just think. 
And here comes the moment where I thought my deal was sealed. Having to go up against Hitchhiker has been a pain in my ass so far because he's so fast and uh, playing Hitchhiker myself, I know how deadly he can be with these chases. However, surprisingly, he also did lose me very fast and did not pursue me. I'm gonna spend this, I don't even care. I'm gonna try to look for tools upstairs then. Thinking that most of the killers are preoccupied right now, I did choose to go up the ladder right after opening the door. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what has happened before. Boom, you're out of the basement and you're right there with the killer. Of course, he of all people hears me. Fast enough, sadly. I'm so dead. Thinking I was pretty much dead, my only escape plan was to try to go for the well. Looking at my health bar here, I was sure I was going to be dead, with probably Hitchhiker coming around the corner and ending my life indefinitely. However, surprisingly, that did not happen, to survive. and I was given a second chance. Holy macaroni and cheese, dude. It's so tough if you just don't get out of the basement fast. It's, I think, one of the hardest things to survive. When you have a, when you have a tough basement in the beginning, it's so hard. Health again. Let's let's goof him up. Wait, that didn't cause sound? How? Be more careful. Great. I'm dead, I know that. This is the last effort. My last effort. Fit in the door. Come on, Anna. You can I think this is antiseptic. Should clean the wound. Come on, get that, get that. Now the difficulty about this door is that it's just in such a highly frequented area right next to grandpa so the killers are usually swarming around it. However, I don't know how it happened but I did have enough time to unlock it using my ability of course to get rid of one lock at least super fast. What? I... is it double locked? That's the trouble of having a cook on the team. Double lock. Oh my god, I thought it was bugged for a second. I was out of the house, and now it was time to think about which escape route I wanted to take. So we need to find another fucking lock. Uh, lockpick. Jesus Christ, look at me being all dumb. It was red. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, there's a generator, though. At this point, I am really thinking about which exit is going to be the right one for me. Seeing how the generator was this far away from the exit gate at the road, I finally decided to go for the car battery because it is a lot more remote and I thought the killers were not aware of me being all the way back there. Just imagine for one second that I'm able to pull this off.
I just need to get to the car thing, unlock the gate, and be done. Maybe I wanna, like, hang out a bit and wait for my... Wait for my thing to recharge, you know, the... The lock picking. Because you can't pick the lock while it's electrocuted, right? Nope. <sighs> Does it work like that? Or am I getting shocked? <gasps> I can. Okay. Cervantes, absolute mad lad over here. Jesus, dude. Just calm and collected. That's all we need to be. Calm and collected. And now we just do this and we're scot free. We're home free, baby. Come on, come on. Just nobody, nobody check the doors. Because that's their problem. They might have had like a vice grip on the basement and the house. But that's going to be their downfall. That's going to be their downfall. Them having such a clutch on the basement and the uh, the house makes them fucking vulnerable God, for the outside please, exits. Yeah, baby! Let's hope they can get out. Of course, the kind soul that I am, I did inform my team which exit has been opened, hoping that they will be able to make it out. But, um, spoiler... Julie's not gonna make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's done for. She is done for, I think. Now, seeing Anna rushing towards the exact exit that I had opened gave me a spark of hope because she was so close to getting out. Ah, but I could never have seen what she's gonna do right here. Oh, she might make it, actually. She might make it. Doors open, everything's open. <laughs> You just need to get out. No, where are you going? You could just get out. You're so close. Get out. Now at this point, I'm not really sure how much map knowledge does this player have. Does this player know which exit I actually meant? I don't yeah, think he or she I did. You. I'm basically God at the moment. But you can save them all. You literally can't save them all. Like, if, if they... If they don't want to be saved, I can't save them. Jesus. I'm... She's the only survivor, though. You can run! What is her plan? Like, what's the deal right now, Anna? What are you trying to accomplish? I was really losing faith, but then... God, yes! <laughs> Another soul saved by Connie. Absolute clutch. Sardas. Für Sardas. Macht bedeutet alles. Du hast dich entschieden. Für Sardas. Sardas. Für Sardas. 